So we have some mega impromptu garbage picking going on. I was coming back from going grocery shopping and I remembered that this one town, the garbage goes out tonight. So I thought I would just go look on the one street and I did and there's something. Hopefully it's not broken. I spy with my eye. This vase. Welcome to Paper and Moose. It is mail day and also a, the bird decided to chime in there, but it is mail day and also a super, super impromptu garbage pick that will be featured first. Um, if you see me wearing different outfits, it is because when I initially filmed this mail day video, I had thought I would film it all in one portion and then my GoPro decided to die and then I also realized that maybe people wouldn't want to sit through an hour or you know, longer video of me opening up my mail. So it'll be divided into two different videos. Um, so I will put the second one out you know, shortly after the first one. I was driving back from the grocery store and I remember that the one town nearby has their garbage out. So I drove down a couple of streets and the one street had this. After I put it in my car, I realized that it does have some major repairs to it. It kind of smells inside, but um, I don't think it's a vase. I think it's, you flip it upside down, whatever's in there. And it's like a, oh, I don't even know what grass clippings and one of those flower blocks fell out, but that smells, but that takes care of that. Maybe it is. No, there's a hole on the bottom. So I guess it would go like that. Or if the trees go this way, go like that, whichever. As I said, it does have some repairs, but this came from a home that is in the more expensive side of Easton. The home that it came from was for sale a couple months ago. And it's pretty much my dream home. You could see bathroom that's in there it's a claw foot bathtub underneath this little window it's my dream home but the home was um, it was actually cheap for that area it was like 350 some thousand dollars but that's because it didn't have a parking space just a little tiny yard but it was super cute maybe it was for something I forget but anyway that's where that came from I think even with the 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 cracks, you know, I'll still bring it to the flea market. It probably was an expensive piece at one point. It has a very, maybe like Asian motif to it. So an unexpected find and some unexpected mail from all of you. I went to the post office today and when I handed the lady my card that said I had oversized packages, she's like, oh, you hit the jackpot and she brought out these four packages for me. So thank you all again for sending me mail. Um, it's much, much appreciated and you know, it's great to know that you all are watching and you're enjoying the channel. And um, you know, I hope you continue to do so. And again, thank you for all that have sent mail and for anyone that is going to send mail or if you'd like to send mail, my post office box is in the description below of the video that really smells all right let's get started I haven't op read any letters from these hopefully I don't get sentimental and cry if so I will stop recording so let's get into it this is from I hope I don't pronounce your name wrong Roger Roget steep oh I don't want to say your last name Roget Roger you can correct me in Marion Iowa I believe it's Iowa let's see I really enjoy your paper and moose channel and clothes are some 1940s women's patterns as well as embroidery design patterns. I found them at our church sale, good find, this past week. Hope you enjoy them. Keep moving forward. Oh, here we go. My name is pronounced Rajet. Rajet? I hope I pronounced that right, Rajet. 
great to find paper at a church sale. I've yet to find any, I think. Oh, oops. Look how nice even the envelope is. You can see that. The graphics. New York, New York. Pattern Department, West 17th Street, New York, New York. And Adams Patterns. Oh, look at these. These are old. I mean, you're used to seeing the patterns in like the, the white envelopes. These were used in 1940s. This will look great framed in like a seamstress shop or a tailor shop. Look how nice that is. You can see. And on the back, there's some also. I'm awful at sewing. All of my aunts, or my great aunts, I guess, they were really good at sewing. They could knit and crochet. Me, not so much. I tried to learn. My cousin taught me, but she was left-handed, so that didn't work out too well. I'm gonna fold these just right. Also, here are the actual patterns. I think, yeah, but can you imagine like making a dress from these? I mean, that's, I, I wouldn't even know where to begin. But again, just the envelope. That would look neat on a shirt. Like that would look really neat on like the patch on a shirt or on the back of a shirt. More ideas. Iowa Farm and Home Register Pattern Department. If you have ordered two or more patterns, they may not arrive at the same time because they are mailed to you in separate envelopes. The catalogs are also mailed to you separately. Oh, I wish I had this dress. Look at what nice, that nice dress. I do have a couple of vintage dresses that I found at the flea market. And I'm lucky enough, this pattern looks like it wasn't cut maybe. I'm lucky enough that they actually fit me, which is great. Made only junior miss sizes 11, 13, 15, and 17. This one is in great condition. Let's see. I can't even imagine where to begin. And this isn't using a machine. This is sewing by hand. I love that graphic too. These are really good finds for a church sale. That's the same one. Let's see what pattern this is. Ooh. I, my one dress is somewhat like this. So you can make it short sleeve or long sleeve. Look how pretty. I imagine this in a nice green color with either the white belt, maybe a yellow belt, red for Christmas. These are really in great shape. What a good find. Oh, look at this one. Your pattern for today's fashion. Even the envelope. Suggested materials. Shark skin, shantung, chambray, gingham, and linen. Gingham, I think getting gingham would look good for this one. There are, are some women that they only dress in vintage style and they do the victory rolls. I would love, well, I can't do them now on my hair, but I, I would love, when I did have longer hair, to have done like victory rolls, worn victory rolls every day, but that takes a lot of work. It's not that easy. And here's another one. The Work Basket, Kansas City. Contents, valuable merchandise. This is sent to someone in Dundee, Iowa. I've never been to Iowa. What surprises inside? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at the little, oh my goodness, what is this one? A 
a teapot and yeah, a teapot pan, flowers. Oh, those teapots are darling. But look at the little, first this little elephant with the candy cane. And then there's a little duck, silverware, a saucer and teacup. You can see, oh. How cute. What if one would have a moose? That'd be crazy. These are all, oh my, <laughs> we are close. <laughs> we have a deer. That's probably as close as we're gonna get. So let's see, I'll hold it up. Can you see the deer? We'll pretend it's a moose. And there's a flamingo. Try test design first, use a hot iron. So I know many of you commented that the Aunt Martha patterns would work. They would still work. So I wonder if these, if any of you have any patterns from the work basket, let me know. I will have to, oh, here's a little test one. So I could always test because those will look so, so cool to make shirts with these. And then I would be the only one that would have that shirt. Maybe, unless someone else has patterns from the work basket. This is the one I opened. All right, let's look. Oh, we have two more. And, ooh, oh my goodness. Oh, there's fish. These are all, oh, look at her. Oh, that shows, see, that's not even um, an iron on, but that shows, This is. these are all letters. But I, I like this lady, so she's showing you how you can transfer the letter onto your shirt. So then look at the fish. I'll figure this out one day. Oh, nice. I can, I might, I actually don't own an iron. <laughs> I don't iron anything, but I may have to borrow an iron just so I can experiment with these. Oh. The little, the little Dutch boy and girl. Oh, and there's cats and a dog. This one is super cute. Oh my goodness. Look at them. And where's the cat and the dog? I could see these on a shirt. Oh my goodness. I can't believe you found these at a, at a, a church sale. Well, I can, because that seems, you know, someone would probably donate these there. But what great finds. I would scoop them up too. I'll grab that then. Well, thank you so much, Roger, Rogette, Roger, Roger. I'm sorry if I'm picturing your name, but these are so cute. And I really now I'm going to have to try and see if I can use these and be successful with them because some of these prints would look amazing on t-shirts and on tank tops or book bags or any anything. So thank you so much. These were great finds. If only my church sales would have stuff like this, but super cute, love them. Look out in a future, future video to see if I use any on t-shirts, which I hope so because they would look awesome. So this is from Kitty in Schreier, pronouncing that wrong too, Louisiana. Let me see. Oh. Hi Renee, my name is Kitty. I am a Cajun from South Louisiana. I want to go to Louisiana so bad. Um, my friend and I were going to try and go this past fall, but it just didn't work out with our work schedules or my work schedule that is on one of the places that I want to visit sooner rather than later um, she said she loves my channel and she's also a collector of all things vintage I thought I'd send you a few things you might enjoy seeing saving selling or keeping up to you the I can't read that one part something's from her childhood the pictures are of my guests of my great aunt and uncles on my father's side. Please, okay. Um, the Girl Scout badge is mine from the early 70s. 
The needle pack is from my maternal grandma's sewing box. I also found the religious item in the sewing box. Um, it has a date, very small, 1959. The matchbook is from a diner that my mom worked in in the 60s. I'm sure she had some great stories working in a diner. Side note, I love diners. I would much rather go to a diner than a fancy restaurant. Um, all but one of the postcards are holiday themed, which you mentioned you liked. Enjoy. Yes, Louisiana is definitely on my, oh, the books are from my childhood. The three, oh my gosh, the three Billy Goats Gruff. I remember this book. I had a different, I had a different version. Oh, look at, look at these graphics. I mean, if you wanted like a funky tattoo, like why not get like one of these guys? <laughs> I don't know about him. I mean, wait this way, that guy. But I mean, look at the, the goat. If you were into if you were into goats and you wanted a goat tattoo, like look at an old book. <laughs> trip trap trip trap trip trap went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge? Roared the troll. Now I'm coming to gobble you up. I haven't. I've totally forgot this book existed. Let's look at the last page. Oh, the goats are just doing whatever. But I love that picture of the goat. And there's the, the troll again, all looking around. Love it, thank you. Oh, look at this too. <gasps> the night before Christmas. How sweet that Santa is. See. You cannot be graphics from this time. Like there's no, there's just no comparison. Even after all these years and the pages are yellowed, it really doesn't matter. Because they're just so sweet and it seems like there was so much care taken in them. I mean, look how cute. So this will go with my Christmas decor. Love it. Put these here. All right, so this is the matchbox from where her matchbook from where her mom worked, the pit grill. Open 24 hours. So restaurants don't, I don't think they give out matchbooks anymore because you can't smoke in diners at all. But this is what, you know, you would take and there are people that have lots of matchbook collections that they keep. And, you know, because this is nostalgia, it, you, you don't get these anymore. What was this? Well, this is um, the religious token I think she was talking about. I've never seen it in one of the protectors like that. I guess this is probably one that someone would carry in their pocket. And the Girl Scout badge, I will have to sew that onto my book bag or my flea market bag. All right. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at him. What great eyebrows. And my family, my paternal side, eyebrows were crazy. But this is such a great picture. I love his look. Oh. They were so... Look how cute. So handsome. Hinesville, Georgia. It looks like it was Long Studios. And you said, great aunts and uncles on your father's side. Thank you so much for sending me these. I absolutely love this photo. Like now I have to find a frame for this one. I mean, I love all of them, but 
there's just something about this one. But this is so nice. Oh, look at her dress. He looks so young. Oh, look at his mustache. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at her dress. You can see some of these. Her hat. These are great. These are actually photo postcards. I love photo postcards. And a photo postcard is just what it is. A photo on a postcard. Look at her pretty wedding dress. Her style. Oh, I wonder if that's the same. These might be the same. This couple might be the one that was in there before. Let me see. Nope different. They just have similar mustaches. I love their outfits. Look at her. She was a very slender woman. Her purse. But she looks so proud to be there. These are so nice. Thank you so much for sending me these. I hope you have copies. But this one like you wonder what he was thinking when this picture was taken probably like, can I go smoke my cigarette now <laughs> oh look how lovely Christmas postcards you need you know I say it over and over again there's just oh, look how nice that one there's no need to go out and, and buy brand new items for Christmas you know, take your time, go to flea markets, estate sales, yard sales even sometimes, auctions. Oh, here's a Thanksgiving one. And, you know, find this stuff. This one I can't really open. Did you get that gift? Hope you're well. You have much to be thankful for. Love to you all. Come down. That's from Huntington. A nice Thanksgiving Day one birthday greetings i do have a few of these with the pretty flowers Can you, this is one of those like i don't want to say embossed but kind of like pop out no one sent oh look at this one no one sends stuff like this anymore are there any of these dated some of these are used from mother Hope you are well. There's a Valentine. Oh, that's cute. This is what I like to do and always, always be with you. Drink tea. Yes. <laughs> that's what I always like to do. Uh, 1921. On Valentine's Day. I climbed a ladder. Oh, these are flowers climbing. I climbed a ladder very high to win sweet Juliet for mine. She looks upon me with a sigh and now she is my Valentine. I've never seen one like that. That's the an anthrom anthromothic. I'm not, I'm butchering that. It's like the salt and pepper shakers that have faces in their fruit. But that's almost the same kind of thing with the flowers. I've, n I've never seen one like that. I love that. It almost has like an Alice in Wonderland kind of feel to it with the flowers, you know, talking. Oh, look how nice these are. More Christmas. Oh, this one's pretty. A lot of times, oh, December 18th, 1908. How are you? These cold days, how are you? These cold days, you coming, I can't. Christmas came up, I, I won't, I'm not gonna try. <laughs> Victorians, they love their angels. Not Victorians, the Victorian period, they love the angels. This one's cute with the little kids. Christmas Oh, look at this one. I'll catch him this time. From Grammy? Maybe not. More, again, angels. Oh, this, this one with the cherubs. More little kids, yeah. Children, angels, cherubs. 
those were the the themes very common 1907 Bristol Vermont this was stamped several times and again some people collect postcards just for the, the stamp on the back the postmark and this is the sewing the sewing kit sorry sewing that was from her grandmother's sewing kit you know nice graphics again sew and stitch oh what in the world I it's like two chicks in carriages I guess the chicks knock the the children out this is very I've never seen one like that And the chicks wanted to ride, so these were like baby dolls in carriages, and then the chicks knocked them out. Makes sense. That's so cute. And look at this one. Say, did you ever argue with a cow? These were common. Hello, hello, hello. Rest hello. I guess from Blocks, Mississippi, 1938. I guess if you're gonna send a postcard, why not say hello? You know, four times. So cute. Thank you so much, Kitty. I love these. And you know, rest assured that your your family's photos will they've found another good home. I can't wait to find a nice frame for this one. Because that one such great images. Thank you again. But I just want to say thank you to all who have sent mail. It's greatly appreciated. Um, you know, it's it surprises me. It's a good surprise. You know what what you all send it really warms my heart that you you know would reach out and you know, take the time to send all these great pieces of ephemera and vintage items to me so thank you all again you know I, it's it's very much appreciated i can't say enough how much it is appreciated i think i've said appreciated about you know like 10 times already but so anyway mm -hmm.